There is so much misinformation about hair loss. So many myths, rumors, and straight up lies. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the most common hair loss myths and finding out what the real truth is. Myth number one is cutting or shaving your hair will strengthen it. It absolutely won't. Your hair is basically dead keratin, so cutting it off does not affect the hair follicle or the hair growth cycle in the least. Your follicles will keep doing their thing regardless of what you do to the hair shaft, meaning that cutting or shaving it will have no effect against hair loss whatsoever. So how did this widespread myth arise? Well, it probably has to do with the fact the longer the hair shaft, the more weathered it becomes. Hair shaft weathering refers to that gradual damage and deterioration of the hair shaft due to things like sun exposure, chemicals, heat treatments, and other environmental factors. And because of how the hair grows, the tips are always the oldest part of the hair shaft. They're subject to the most weathering and therefore likely to split or to break. So when you cut your hair short, you remove those weathered tips, leaving the less weathered, healthier looking parts in their place. This can kind of trick people into believing that the cut somehow benefits their actual hair follicles. The blunt ends of the freshly cut hair also make it appear thicker and fuller, adding to this illusion. Okay, myth number two, pattern hair loss only affects adults. So sadly, it does not. Many males will begin to lose their hair well before adulthood, as young as 15 or even 14. Up to 9% of 15 year old boys are already showing signs of balding. And by the age of 17, this figure actually rises to 17%. Adolescent girls are also at risk for hair loss. The average age that adolescents start to show those signs of hair loss is 15 years for boys and 14 for girls. Myth number three, androgenetic alopecia in women has no similarities with men. This brings us to another myth, namely that women only lose hair in a diffuse pattern. You may have heard of the so-called Christmas tree effect, which appears as the part in the middle widens all over the top of a woman's head. Now, while this is true that androgenetic alopecia in women is very different, there is a striking similarity with men notably recession at the temples. And just like with men, this will often be the first sign of hair loss in women as well, especially adolescents. Okay, myth number four, psychological stress is the main cause of hair loss. Well, it's not really that close. Over 90% of men who lose their hair suffer from androgenetic alopecia. No scientist considers stress to be a causal factor in this type of hair loss. The one type of hair loss where severe psychological stress might have a causal role is so-called telogen effluvium. This happens when a large number of hair follicles switch to the telogen phase simultaneously, leading to diffuse thinning. But compared to androgenetic alopecia, telogen effluvium is quite rare and typically reversible without any kind of treatment. While psychological stress may play a causal role in some causes of telogen effluvium, the vast majority are cases caused by severe stress to the body. This could be things like drugs, illness, nutrient deficiency, pregnancy, surgery, and so on. Myth number five, you inherit baldness from a gene in your mother's side. Baldness does indeed have a genetic predisposition, which is why it tends to run in families. But the inheritance pattern is very complex and involves genes that can be inherited from either parent. Furthermore, there is no one gene as scientists are discovering that the predisposition to hair loss involves literally dozens or even hundreds of different genes. Unfortunately, the more of these genes that you have, the more likely you are to develop hair loss, but it's far more complicated than I can even begin to explain in this brief video. Myth six, men with hair loss have higher natural levels of testosterone and DHT. So they simply do not. When scientists discovered that DHT is implicated in hair loss, one of the first hypotheses they tested was that men with hair loss have higher levels of testosterone or DHT in their system. On the face of it, this makes total sense. All men have androgens, but only some go bald. So if androgens are linked to hair loss, this difference might come down to that hormonal variation. 
So scientists tried measuring every possible androgen or combination of androgens to see if they could find reliable differences between men with baldness and the rest of the male population. Some didn't even use blood tests, but looked at visible differences that might be linked to hormonal differences, things like body hairiness or sexual activity. But no matter what measurement they used, the results were always disappointing. While some studies found differences, these were not always in the predicted direction, and most studies found no difference whatsoever. Nowadays, no serious scientist will even consider this idea, but that myth persists among the general public and the hair loss community in particular. I should emphasize that the above refers only to natural levels of testosterone. If you are injecting synthetic testosterone or anabolic steroids, then you can definitely expect to experience more sensitivity to hair loss. I should add that one of the myths that we didn't cover in today's video is that DHT is the sole cause of hair loss, which is something we cover in detail in a separate video. If you're one of the countless guys that have invested all your time and energy into blocking DHT, only to be disappointed by the results and side effects, I invite you to head over to hairguard.com and check out the brand new HairGuard Pro. So by gently massaging your head in a very specific way, this state-of-the-art device relieves scalp tension and attacks hair loss at the root, giving safe and long-lasting regrowth that DHT blockers simply cannot match. Okay, if you've got a question, leave it down below. Like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.